Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys my makeup evolution process and how I corrected all the mistakes, well mistakes to me that I thought I made in the past with my makeup application. This is pretty much like my do's and don'ts video that I did a long time ago. These are not set in stone rules or anything. I just wanna share some of my tips with you guys. Just a quick disclaimer. So if you guys wanna see how I got to this point in my makeup, Evolution, make sure you keep on watching. First thing I'm gonna do is brows. If you've been with me for a while, you know we've definitely gone through a major brow evolution, especially after microblading. Microblading gave me a guideline to what my shape is, my eyebrow shape is, and it's definitely made it easier to fill in my brows, although I feel like I didn't get the pigmentation results that I wanted, but as far as like having a guideline to see where my brows are mapped out and stuff like that, it's definitely helped and it helps fill, helps me fill in my brows a lot faster. But in terms of brow evolution, I used to use black eyeliner, like black pencil, just, I just go straight in with black for my brows. And they were so harsh. <laughs> and so unflattering and so strong and this made my face look so harsh because brows really do do so much for your face. They frame your face. I've definitely gone through a brow evolution. I don't use black anymore whatsoever. If I do end up deciding to use a black pencil or a black eyeliner, it's just to define the tail where I have the least amount of hair. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Max Stud Brow Pencil. I think this is one of their new ones. The older one didn't have a spoolie at the end. This one does, it's dual ended. If you like more of a defined brow, this is gonna like give you anxiety. <laughs> Not really, but if you like more of a defined brow, this is gonna be like, uh, I don't wanna do this. But for me, I just like more of a softer brow. There's been some serious evolution in brow products as well. Like I said, I was gonna use the Maybelline one just to give you guys a drugstore option, but this Max Stud is a really good one as well. I've been using that. I'm glad I'm able to give you guys a drugstore version because you know, I wanna go ahead and make sure I can help you guys find products in all different aspects of your financial needs. So if people can afford higher end, I wanna make sure I can give you guys that option. Especially being someone like me, I grew up with pretty much nothing um, everything I had to pay for myself nothing was ever handed to me and it's just it's just I understand the financial struggles and I understand the beauty and the blessing of having a drugstore formula or a drugstore product to be able to use and afford and don't feel like you're breaking the bank but I also don't mind now that I'm in a much better place I also don't mind my more expensive stuff and my more high-end stuff if you guys hear Zoe she's ringing her little bell so she can go potty what time is it? Oh, it's almost time for her to go to potty. Anthony will take her out. She has this cute little potty bell and she takes advantage of it like none other. We got it for her when she was younger and she would just like, it would be a good form of her letting us know when she really needed to go potty. But now she's learned that bell, ringing the bell means I get to go outside and she loves outside, especially park. And when it gets close to nighttime and she wants to play, I promise you guys, she will ring that bell a hundred times just so we can take her out with the possibility of going to park. There she goes again. <laughs> you, you guys probably can't hear it though. It's pretty far away. It's all the way in the living room. Also, another thing that I used to do that was one of my biggest brow mistakes, and you guys really used to come for me. In the very, very beginning of my channel, I had hella halo brows, y'all. Like, halo brows were, it wasn't even intentional. Like, I would try and like blend it out. I was just using a product to conceal my brows or to clean up my brows that was way too light. And I had hella halo brows. I was like the brow angel at that point in time because the halos were always there. It was crazy. But, you know, we've evolved. Now what I use to conceal my brows is I use a foundation on both the top and the bottom, a foundation that's my face color already, and I just use that to conceal my brows. All right, so that's pretty much my brows right now. I've been taking the same concealer brush that I use, and I have been taking it and just going upwards in my brow just to like get rid of some of that blockiness and it just kind of like mimics the look of hair like strokes. And you really don't want to use a lot of concealer for this. That's why I barely even go back in. And this is totally optional. If you don't care about your brows looking like hair, don't worry about this. These brows look so much better and so much more softer than the brows that I did beforehand. Like this just looks so much more just soft. 
So now I'm going to go into foundation and base routine. And to be honest, I can't put all of my base routine mistakes on myself because it was mainly a lack of products that even worked for my skin tone. And that was one of the biggest struggles and biggest issues. Um, so I'm not gonna put all the blame on myself, but there were certain things that I could have done better. One of the biggest things that I saw myself struggling with and people of my complexion struggling with is finding number one, a foundation that matches and number two, a foundation that had the right undertone. And for the longest time there, we were working with foundations that were clearly just too light, but that was the only thing in the mar on the market, especially in drugstore form. You were just trying to make do with what you got and it's definitely improved and I'm so happy about that. I'm using the NARS Naturally Radiant Longwear Foundation. You guys know this has been one of my favorite foundations since I tried it and I'm still loving it. And I'm just gonna blend her in. All right, that is foundation on. Such a good match to my chest. Oh, love. Next we're going into concealer. This is the NYX HD concealer. This is not a new concealer. I've been sleeping on this concealer and ever since I found out about it, it's been over. I haven't touched a single concealer since because this one's just been doing it for me. Only thing I noticed about this concealer though, it is not as full coverage as I would like it to be, or I don't even need it to be full coverage, but it's a very, very light coverage, and I just need it to like sit on my face a tad so that it can give me a little bit more coverage without adding extra product. I'm gonna go ahead and jump straight into contour. I've been actually loving the Ben Nye Beard Stipple. You guys have seen this on my channel a lot, especially in the beginning before I stopped contouring because I just kind of got annoyed that I wasn't just finding products. I do wish this product blended out a little bit better. It can get a little cakey if you go too heavy and that's why I think I stopped using it. But it's a pretty decent shade to kind of just bring back the dimensions of my face after the foundation makes me so flat. It kind of clings a little so that's why I kind of stopped using it. It just works for now until we can, you know, create these products. I'm gonna go ahead and start blending out this concealer. It blends out so easily. I'm still using one of my favorite sponges, the Sephora sponge. You guys know how much I love this sponge. It's just, it just does it. It does everything I needed to do and more. It's super squishy, super soft. It blends out everything amazingly. Next, one of the biggest things that I've changed completely is this powder. It has honestly changed just the way that my makeup looks, especially powder wise. Powder is so important. You can, powder can take your makeup from, you look good to, oh my God, you look like casket ready. I've been using the Joe Blasco Hollywood, Joe Blasco Hollywood powder. This powder is so deep. And sometimes depending on what product you have underneath, like if you have a concealer that's really neutral, this might make it neutral as well. But most of the time my concealers are um, more red. So it just kind of adds like a healthy balance to my face. And then for blush, I'm going to use the exact same blush that I use on the don't side. I'm going to use the NARS Exhibit A blush. It's a really pretty orangey red blush. You can get carried away like I used to do. I used to be a clown. Like I literally look like a clown. <laughs> I used to go so heavy on blush because I was only using like a few products and I was just like, I just want to put on as much as I can because I'm only using a few products and it was just crazy, you guys. Like, I'm talking red cheeks. Like, what is that jigsaw? Like, literally. <laughs> it was terrible. And I already have like big cheeks in general, so it just like was like, hi. Oh, someone told me in a comment once before, they were like, why do you use blush or why do dark skin people use blush? It's not like you blush in real life. And I'm just like, blush is not just for blushing as far as like, oh, being embarrassed or being flustered or anything. Blush is just to add warmth to your face and anyone could add warmth to their face. So I just quickly did my eyes off camera. I just used the Jouer Rose Gold Matte and Shimmer Eyeshadow Palette. I just used like two shadows in here. I do have a coupon code with Jouer. This is actually one of my first ever coupon codes, so I thought that was pretty cool. And just to be completely transparent with you guys, I do not make money off this code, but since they gave it to me, I figured why not share it with you guys if you guys want to purchase anything from them. It's just my name, or I'll have it somewhere up here and you get 15% off. If you do get anything though, the Kitten Eye Liner is bomb. Let me actually just show you guys real quick. It is bomb. Look how dark that eyeliner is. 
if it'll focus, there you go. I love it. So next I'm gonna highlight, I'm gonna use the Dior Nude Air Luminizer. You guys know how much I love this highlighter. What I used to use to highlight though, the brush that I used to highlight was a fan brush. And although this is one of the better fan brushes cause it's a little bit more fluffier, it just wasn't good enough as far as like diffusing the product. I switched over to this brush right here. Since it's fluffier, it diffuses out the product a lot more. I'm gonna reuse this Givenchy lipstick. It comes in this little cute leather casing since my camera wants to have struggle autofocus today. This is pretty much how my makeup evolution process has come along. So I really wanted to share them with you guys. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video and if you learned something new or got a new product to use, make sure you hit that like button. Do not forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications. All the items will be in the description box down below. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Lots of love and I'll see you guys next time.